morning. I'm Erin Elizabeth Wells, here with your Living Peace Tuesday tip. And it's the beginning of the year, and therefore, I want to talk to you a little bit about archiving your paperwork. Every time, every year, this time of year, it's inevitably that time when you're looking at your paperwork and going, okay, my drawers are full, I can't put anything more in there. <laughs> so I want to teach you a little technique that, uh, that I started doing years ago which is to take out all of last year's financial documentation. All of those bank statements, all of those credit card bills, all of the utility bills, all that kind of stuff, and put it into a box for that year. So in other words, it's all out of your way in your main system and easily waiting for you for when you're doing your taxes or to hand off to your accountant or, God help you if you ever got audited, and you needed to figure out, okay, what was my financial related material for that particular year? Got it all in one single box. So this is my 2013 box. Basically, receipts and such went in individual folders. Actually, these are actually in by month because we already had them scored by month. But then it's not, this isn't complex. Essentially, you take the stuff out of your folder in your main system, and anything that was in that folder just got clipped together. So individual files that were in here are clipped together in here and just tossed in. But the reality is most of the time, you never look at this stuff again. Most of the time, this is where it goes to die, which is why one of my old clients used to call them financial coffins. It's where your paperwork went to die. So hopefully this will give you a little breathing space in your regular files and give a very convenient, easy place for your financial paperwork to go. Don't feel bad about recycling some of it, because some of it you probably don't need either. But this has been your Living Peace Tuesday tip. We'll see you next week.